hello and welcome to today's video if you're new here thank you so much for joining us and if not then welcome back so i'm super excited because today i'm doing something i've never ever did before and i am going to be actually giving a makeover to the goth family now this is sort of an additional series to a series i'm doing at the moment which is renovating tiny homes and i thought it would be really fun if we actually gave makeovers to you know the families of these homes as well so we are starting off with the goths if you haven't seen my goth household renovation then please feel free to check that out i'll put a little card on the screen right now but we are just gonna dive into some cast and we're gonna be playing around with the goth family i would also like to state that i am using some cc for this i don't normally use cc like in any of my builds or anything but i really wanted to play around with it for these crea sims so i hope that's okay with you guys but without any further ado let's get into the video here we are with the amazing goth family and we are of course starting off with bella goth herself Self, the queen of the sims and we're gonna be staying true to like their face shapes their body shapes and everything because i want to keep them very much like the character they are i just want to kind of spruce them up a bit because i think they deserve a little bit of a sprucing up i think i think that's the least i can do so i'm gonna start off with like the hair and things i think that's probably the best way to like work our way down and by the way all of the stuff i use will be linked in the description so please go support all of the amazing cc creators that make all of this amazing content because it is so beautiful and yeah they they deserve all the love and support Okay, so I'm going to start off with the hair and I downloaded quite a few. Now, Bella Goff has, this hair is actually beautiful, but, um, but Bella has like very long hair. So I think I want to stick to that. Um, oh, some of these are so cute. Why can't Bella have short hair? That's so pretty. Oh my God, wait. Look at that. Oh, stop it stop it that's gorgeous i'm sorry i'm sorry but that is beautiful i'm wanting to stay true to like her character so i don't want to change like her lips or her eye shapes or anything like that so i don't know if i should do it or not she originally had like very dark long hair we'll have a look at some of the other ones this one is very cute um i've said this before but the goth family really reminds me of like the adams family this one is giving me such like morticia adams morticia 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 adams i don't know <laughs> this one gives me like very bella goth vibes like very very much i i like this one a lot this is such a hard decision what do we think like this one or do we like this one but like you know with the oh my god i actually oh i actually don't know this is such a hard decision i think i'm gonna go with this one just because it gives me such bella goth vibes i feel like it makes her look very elegant and also look at that braid at the back that's beautiful so i think i'm gonna go with this but i love that other one i'm definitely gonna find a way to use that at some point okay now her face i have a few like face detail things that i want to add i obviously don't want to like change her face but i think there's a few things i can add to just spice her up a little bit so i have this one which is like a little overlay and then i have a few lashes that i want to add i have a lot of different ones so i don't know what one is going to be my favorite i think that because of her eyes and her eyeliner lashes look amazing i do really like these ones but there's a few different swatches i really like these lashes they're really nice okay or these ones these ones are really nice as well do you think i should change her eyebrows or do we quite like them just made her eyebrows a little bit softer change them to this one i just think they suit her so much better so we're gonna go with that okay i think we can finally move on to the clothing so i'm super excited about the clothing because this is what she wears currently and i as you can already see actually <laughs> have downloaded a few dresses that i thought would look quite nice on her this one is cute but i think it doesn't give me bella goff it's very very short this one is really nice as well but it's quite long and 
I don't know. I feel like I feel like Billy Goff is quite modest in the clothes she wears. So I want to sort of keep to that. This dress. <gasps> Wait, this is like such Bella Goff vibes. It's kind of like her original dress, but just nicer. <laughs> I love this one, but I don't know. I like it, but I feel like I'm just gravitating towards this one here. I just, I don't know. I like how it looks. I'm actually quite torn because there is a skirt that I downloaded and I know that Bella Goff she wears of course a dress but I'm sort of like well I'm wondering about this skirt not with this top I actually was thinking I've got a little top in here somewhere and it's so cute this one here I just think this looks so nice. I feel like maybe this could be something she could wear to like an event or like a party. And then we could maybe use the other one for every day. How about, how about we do that? I don't know. I wish you guys could actually like reply to me and tell me <laughs> what you think. Instead of me having to like guess what you're saying. I don't think I downloaded any necklaces. I did download these, but I feel like these are a little bit much. A little bit much for our Bella. You guys, I found these really cute heels and they come in this red swatch. And they're so similar to her original heels, but just like nicer. And I'm, what do we think? What do we think? Because I sort of love them. I wish she had like a little jacket that she could wear on top. I think that that would just make this outfit. I have kept her engagement ring on because I feel like it just makes sense. I feel like she would she would just have that. Okay, I'm gonna do some accessories for the top of her body. Oh, I do like these lashes. This is so cute. I know that it's not Bella Goffey's, but I downloaded it and it just looks so nice. I'm not gonna use it for Bella, but I just really like it. I wanted to show it. <laughs> I love that one. There's also this one. <gasps> does it come in silver? It does. Oh, do we think Bella Goff is a gold girly or a silver girly? I will be honest, I have always felt like red goes better with gold than silver, but you know, you can argue with me on that because <laughs> maybe it doesn't. I'm kind of feeling like this silver matches with her engagement ring really nicely so i'm kind of gravitating towards the silver i'm gonna keep her little engagement ring on because i think that's cute but i love her so much okay do you know what i'm gonna decide between these outfits and then i'll sort of get back but i think what i'm gonna do is use the satin dress during the day and then this outfit for like a party so i'll be back very soon Okay, so I have completely finished off Bella Goff and all of her other outfits. I am going to reveal them at the end of the video, um, but they will also be over on my Instagram. My Instagram handle is iHandsAYT, so if you want to check that out, please feel free. But we are now moving on to Mortimer Goff, and I'm so excited for this. Now, I will say I'm kind of lacking in the male department of CC, so... I'm really sorry. I apologize. I'm trying to kind of work it back up again. So we're going to work with what we've got. Um, but I think I have some fun stuff. Something I did download that I thought was so Mortimer was this suit. Now it's very similar to the suit that he normally wears. He normally wears this suit right here. It's so similar to like the suit he normally wears this suits him like 10 times more it's beautiful like it's it's stunning on him i think it works now mortimer's mortimer's actually like a really outgoing nice person so i really want to reflect that through the clothes he's wearing and sort of i want to emphasize his personality now i feel like this outfit makes him look like he might be a little bit more chill to approach because it's still really formal but it has a kind of casual look to it with the like open collar i don't know i just think it works really nicely now, i know i should have started with his face but i just really wanted to show you that suit but we're gonna go on and have a look at some hair now, i did download a few hairs and mortimer's a little bit older than Bella, I'm sure so. Yeah, he's got some wrinkles coming out, but that's okay. 
I think I think he can still look super good. I think he can rock it. Um, everyone in the Goff family has black hair, and I'm sort of trying to debate if I want to like give Cassandra any highlights and stuff. I did download this hair, and I feel like it's kind of nice. But like, does it scream Mortimer? I don't know. He usually has his hair up in like a little style like this, so. It feels weird to try and give him longer hair. <laughs> okay, maybe if we switch up like the eyebrows and stuff, I can make the hair work. I don't know. This is kind of like my thought process for this thing. <laughs> I kind of want to give him stubble, but I'm like, what do we think? I actually don't have any CC for like his facial hair, which is really sad. I wish that I did. But I'm thinking if we just give him some stubble, it kind of looks cool. But then I don't know if it makes him look too old. I feel like I'm a fan of the facial hair. This one, this one actually really suits him. I really like how that looks. To give him lashes, but I feel like he should have much more subtle lashes. Sort of um, not as bold, not as out there. But I do want to give him just little lashes. <laughs> do you think I should take away his wrinkles? <laughs> I sort of want to take them away, but then like obviously it's part of him, so I'm like, should I? You know what I mean? He just looks a lot better without all the wrinkles. <laughs> Maybe we can just minimize the wrinkles a little bit, so instead of him having like really drastic ones like this, we could give him like sort of more like this, and then he's not so, so old looking. <laughs> I just feel like he looks so old for no reason. I feel like these ones are kind of subtle. What do we think? I think they're a little bit better. Yeah, I kind of like those. Okay, what do we think? Do we think he would wear a necklace? Because I've been looking at these kind of like black necklaces and I sort of feel like they suit him so, so much. He could also like match with Bella if he wanted to, but I don't really know if, if that's his thing. I just feel like he looks so bare without a necklace. Okay, I kind of feel like this necklace is maybe a little bit better. What do we think? These are actually from the Machino pack and they look really nice. A lot easier to kind of design, but I'm going to go through and I'm going to do all of his other outfits and then you will see the big reveal at the end. But so far, I think we're doing pretty well. Okay, we are now moving on to Cassandra and Cassandra is of course a teenager. She's going to be so, so fun to customize. I'm so excited. Now, I love the style of her. I kind of want to keep in theme with the two like pigtails but i don't know if i have any good hairs for it the difference in the amount of female cc i have compared to male is so lacking please let me know if you know any like cc creators that do like really good male you know cc <laughs> just let me know because i am in dire need okay i know i like literally just said i wanted to keep the pigtails but just look at the hair <laughs> Just look at the hair just for a moment, just for a moment. I wish there was one that was like sort of black and purple because I think that would be so perfect for her. Oh, this one actually kind of works because it's still got like the two coming down at the front and then like the two bows. She looks so cute with this hair. I really like it. I'm trying to work out if I want to put like streaks for the hair or if I just want to leave it very simple there's also an option to have it with or without bows i kind of like the bows but i don't know okay i think i'm gonna keep this hair for now and i'm gonna edit like her eyes and stuff i still want to keep her glasses because i think they're like you know that's her vibe she's got like really cute big glasses so we're gonna make sure we keep that i just want to do her lashes oh they're kind of nice wait i kind of like these okay she looks so sweet she looks so cute already i love cassandra you can see that she's like very gloomy <laughs> and very creative though i think she's like that girl like she is honestly wednesday adams i'm sorry that i keep saying it but like <sighs> she's probably not quite as crazy <laughs> as wednesday but I feel like they must have been inspired somehow because they're so similar. <laughs> I had like really big glasses on before. I kind of want to keep that because I loved the way it looked. It was so sweet. So I have these ones. These ones are so cute. 
Okay, do you know what? I'm gonna go with those, I think. I don't really wanna give her any makeup, but I kinda wanna give her like a similar lipstick to her mum. I'm just gonna like... Oh, she kinda says black lipstick. Maybe if we bring the opacity down just a bit. Oh, that kinda looks nice. I sort of wanna give her freckles, but I know that she doesn't have freckles, but I just feel like these little freckles are so sweet. I kind of want to give her them. I think she's definitely taken after her mum in this department. There's actually a really cute one that I downloaded. These ones, they just feel so like high school vibe, like very cutesy. I like that one with the design. I don't like giving them tops. Is that Kiloa? <laughs> Is that Kiloa? <laughs> I don't like giving them tops that have writing on them, like English writing, because I feel like it's cheating because it's The Sims and everything needs to be in Simlish. So I try and give them stuff that is very like neutral, <laughs> if that makes sense. Sandra's very like purple vibes to me, but I don't know if I want to give her purple clothes or not. I'm kind of torn because at first I was like, maybe she should have like purple hair, but like she never has purple hair. She has a very purple like room. Her room in The Sims is very like purpley magenta, but I don't know if her dress sense is. Okay, I don't want to do like... Sorry, I just done like the um... There is some cute little skirts that I have in here that just work, but they clip and I don't like that. I'm sort of debating putting her in jeans because I have some really cute jeans like these ones. You're cute jeans. Like these are, these are cute and then I have shorts as well, I have like these little skirts, I have these jeans but her mum is wearing these jeans so I don't know if that's like, I do really like these jeans that I got, oh they are so sweet, maybe if I change the top this would work, wait, wait why does that look so cute, like it's so casual, it just works, I know that she usually wears a skirt every day, and I am thinking about that. I'm like, okay. <laughs> but, I mean, we're keeping with the color scheme. We've got the black in there. I think she had like black and purple. Maybe I can incorporate some purple in here. Maybe we can give her like a purple watch or something. Let's see, I'm going to change her shoes real quick. Oh, these are really cute shoes. I don't actually know. Oh, they go so nicely. I love I also have these ones. Oh, they go so nicely as well. Oh, now it's a hard decision. Okay, me, I think these ones. I was thinking maybe these, but no, these ones work so well. I like the white though. Oh, what do you think? Do you think white or do you think black? The white breaks it up a little bit, which I love. Okay, we'll do white, we'll do white. And then I think I'm just going to give her like a little watch maybe. But I kind of want it to be purple. Oh, that, that one's purple. That's actually really sweet. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. I love her. We maybe want to like add anything like necklaces and stuff. I don't know. I'm sort of, I don't know if I just want to leave her like that. I feel like... I just did her so quickly though. <laughs> this necklace and then there's of course the necklace that like I've put on Bella as well. But I don't really want to give them the same one and then this one's kind of hard to see. Oh maybe the black one is kind of nice. Now last but definitely not least we have our child sim which is of course Alexander and he is so sweet so he is of course a bookworm he just he's the sweetest little soul when i did my poll of like who's <laughs> your favorite and who's your least favorite he was down there with mortimer he was like nine percent <laughs> such a shame but like i understand cassandra and bella are our 
queens, but you know. I downloaded this really, really cute little thing, like little jacket and jumper, and I think it's so cute. Oh, look at that one. His theme is like blue, like his his color scheme is kind of like blue vibes. I'm wondering if we should maybe go for like the blue little jacket because I kind of like it. Okay, we're gonna get, we're gonna start with these like hair and stuff. I just, I think I got a bit carried away there. <laughs> I did download this one um, and it covers his eyes, so I don't know, but it's very, very sweet. I also downloaded this one. But it makes his hair long. And I know that I made his dad's hair long. But I kind of feel like maybe I shouldn't make his hair long. <laughs> I do think this one is a lot nicer than the hair he did have though. Because the hair he had was just kind of like parted in the middle. Whereas this one is parted in the middle bit messy. The other one was kind of like slick back, gelled back. He's also got glasses. And I like his glasses as well. But I think I want to change his glasses to be a bit more square, is what I'm thinking. Nice. Maybe if his mouth was just bigger. <gasps> oh, wait, that looks kind of cute, no? Oh, he looks so sweet. See, because you can see his teeth. <laughs> he looks so sweet. I feel like before he looked a little bit like, I don't know, unapproachable. But now he looks very sweet. We need to keep in mind, like, he's a child, so in terms of, like, piercings and things, I feel like he probably wouldn't have any. I was kind of, because I was considering, like, him having, like, one earring, but I feel like that's something he would maybe get when he's older, like a teenager, so. We'll hold off on that for now. I think he looks very sweet, though. I kind of like that, though. That works, no? Yeah, I think that works. Or that one. Oh, the white or the grey? The grey, maybe? And then there's like the darker color, but I think the gray look really nice. Yeah, I think that worked. I think he looks so sweet. I love him. Okay, I'm gonna do the exact same thing and go through with all of his outfits. And then, yeah, you'll be able to see all of their little outfits and how cute they look. Okay, now that everyone is ready, it's time for the big reveal and I'm gonna show you all of their outfits. So we're starting off with Bella Goth, and here is her everyday outfit. Her formal outfit, which <laughs> she is slaying. Her sporty outfit, I love this because she looks so casual and she looks so mum-like, if that makes sense. Her bedtime outfit, which is just super chill, but I think it's so her. Party outfit, which is honestly my personal favourite. I think she just looks absolutely gorgeous in this. Her swimwear outfit which is so sweet. I love this so much. I just, red is definitely her colour, like for real. Hot weather outfit which again one of my absolute favourites. Just look at those shoes. She's slaying once again. And last but not least her cold weather outfit and I went for just darker tones for this but I think she looks amazing. Now moving on to Mortimer, we have his everyday outfit and he still has his iconic suit. We then have his formal outfit. I kind of feel like he looks like Jon Snow in this. <laughs> then we have his sporty outfit, which kind of just gives me man that definitely plays golf. <laughs> But I'm not complaining, I love this. Bedtime outfit, which is actually just completely base game. I could not find any male CC bedtime wear that I actually liked. So we've got this. His party attire, and I love this because I love the color of the jumper underneath the jacket. I just think that really suits him. We then have swimwear, and this one is so cute. He's got a bunch of little turtles on his shorts. Mortimer is actually a really fun guy and I feel like this really works for his character. Then we have Hot Weather which again I decided to use a pop of colour and then he's just got some nice casual jeans and some smart shoes. And once again last but not least we have his cold weather outfit. This is one of my personal favourites. I just I love the hoodie and it's a kind of different vibe. He's got some brown tones in there which he hadn't had before. Now for Cassandra. So I ended up actually giving her this skirt for every day and using the jeans later on because in her original design she had a purple skirt so I wanted to keep that pretty true and she does match a little bit with Bella with this. <laughs> Then we have her formal. I feel like this is such a nice little outfit. It kind of looks like she 
works maybe part-time in hospitality or something like that but yeah very sweet and then we have her sleepwear i wanted to change her hair for this because i felt like she probably wouldn't have it in her ponytail so it's just straight down and of course i took her glasses off because i don't think she wants to sleep in her glasses now this is my favorite outfit of hers and this is her party outfit and i feel like she just gets all done up she does her hair so nice and i just love every single thing about this outfit the shoes the t-shirt the jeans I, i'm obsessed we have her swimwear which is really similar to bella's but she's not got the little shawl um and this is really cute and again i dipped into the purple then we have her hot weather which is pretty basic but i love this necklace and also I just love this vibe. I like that it's a lot darker toned because usually in summer you'd be wearing nice bright clothes but not Cassandra. No, not her. And we've got our winter outfit and this is where I decided to use those jeans and it looks so, so nice with that little top, that jumper, one of my favourite things that I have that is CC. So I'm obsessed. Now last but not least we have Alexander and I will say I'm definitely lacking in the child custom content section but I still try to do my best with what I have. So we dove into the blue colour scheme with his little jacket. For more I put him in this little space adventure jumper which I just thought suited him really nicely and again it's blue so I liked it. For sporty he's wearing this little tracksuit and they had this in a few different colours, but I just thought he suited the straight up black. We then have his bedtime clothes, and I know I said I don't like there to be English writing, but because these are pyjamas, I think it works nicely. And also, it went perfectly with these little sliders from the new Tomerang pack. What is that called? For rent. So, I just had to do it. Then for his party, I put him in this little vest. I just feel like he's the type of person that wears a vest top to a party, so he's got that. Then for his swimwear, pretty basic. He's got some sun cream on his nose and these cute little shorts. And then I put him in these little sliders again for his hot weather and I changed his glasses to be sunglasses. For his cold weather, I put him in the same jacket but I wanted to change the swatch to this nice white one with this kind of black hoodie underneath. And then he's just got some nice little black jeans and some shoes. And there we go, that was absolutely all of them. Thank you so much everyone for watching. I really hope you did enjoy this one. Please let me know if you want this to be a series on the channel, if you would like me to sort of go through and do all of the towny makeovers because that's something I would really be down to do. So definitely let me know. And if you did enjoy, please make sure to like and subscribe and leave any comments in the comments down below letting me know what you thought and what you want to see me do next. If you did enjoy, please make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.